What's up guys, it's Jeremy. It's Carrie. And we're at the Ask Carrie and Jeremy show. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Carrie, we got a tricky question for you today. Do you think you got the answers? Yes. All right, here it is. I feel like I'm hungry for all the time, for all the time. I eat, I eat pretty healthy, try to get three meals and a couple of snacks. I'm 5'11 now, 178 pounds. What gives? What gives? So first off, the first thing I heard in the question, well, I got some details, and the first thing I was thinking, like, I think I eat pretty healthy. And right there, I think, you don't know until you write it down. Because we think, right, we're doing this mental checklist, well, I had this for breakfast and that and this. And sometimes we forget some of those few things, or we think that was plenty, and then when we go to put that really down on paper, we go, oh, I didn't really eat that much protein or I didn't really get any fat or whatever it is, but I think there's missing components in just thinking, right? You're doing what you need to be doing. So three meals a day, a couple of snacks, but what really are you putting in your body? Is it, um, you know, I, a lot of times I'll, I'll go to the fridge guilty, right? And I'll pull open and I'll grab the hummus. And I'm thinking, what am I going to dip it with, right? And recently I did this and I had um, a cucumber and I had some radishes. So I'll go to start slicing and I start dipping my cucumber in my, and I'm eating the hummus and then boom, I'm on to the next thing. And then when I think about what I just had, hummus, primarily a fat, not really any protein and some little bit of carb, but then I got my cucumber, great, good crunch, fresh vegetable and some radish, but is that really giving me enough calories and is there any protein there there's really not so right there i think i've got this great snack and i'm really not meeting all my macronutrient needs right covering my protein carbon fat at each meal so right away i'd say invite you to write down what you're eating and really observe what you're think what you think you're getting and what you're really missing what what do you think well i think that you kind of can ask the question again is it the right question and uh is it a problem that I'm hungry? You know, because you're 5'11", 178, that's a great body composition. I don't know what your goals are, so that we would have to assess what your goals are. If your goal is not to be hungry anymore, then I would just say eat some more fat and be on with your day because you have a great body composition and don't worry too much about it. So I think the real question is what is your goal? And if your goal is just to satiate like that hunger, then take a spoonful of coconut oil and put it under the tongue and swallow it and you'll be good to go. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for real targeted goals, like you wanna be 185 and not hungry, then we know that we need to write down our food and do all the tasks that Carrie says that you need to do. But if I was 5'11", 178, and I you know, had a uh, teen body fat percentage, um, and I was hungry a little bit, I would just say, hey, this is a pretty good life, and I'm rolling with it. I think the other thing, great, Jeremy, I mean, it's, maybe that's true, but again, I think assessing the goals is the key. But then also thirst. You know, sometimes we think we're hungry, and really we, we might just not have hydrated ourselves or be really complete with the water intake that we're up to. So half your body weight in ounces, you know, try and shoot for that every day, and then work on towards a gallon, right? So 128, I think, ounces exactly is a gallon of water. So, you know, are you getting half your body weight minimum, and are you really, um, is maybe that hunger really just some thirst that might be happening there as well? Uh, to kind of further along that in the sense of the goal standpoint, is is whenever we have a targeted goal we can correlate our actions to it and depending on what you want to be consuming you say you're eating three times a day uh, how does adding snacks into that specifically around timing and meal prep and being able to eat post-workout how that would curve certain hungers when you stop eating when you start eating this is the importance of getting a nutrition coach and having somebody work with you and set some framework and some you know awareness around what it is that you're doing so i would highly encourage you to kind of take a consensus on is this the time to get a coach to help me to rein in and target what it is that i'm trying to achieve this is the jeremy and carrie show let us know in the future what your questions are and if you want to get on this pump level three three liftoff challenge is on the platform check it out guys you want to know what it's all about sweet peace